where are we at? So, all right, hey everybody, it's Wessel here in Los Angeles. Uh, just coming to you on a beautiful sunny afternoon. Um, I think it's a Thursday today. Um, just following through with my promise to try and do more vlogs about my art. Um, to kind of give you a little bit of backstory into stuff. And today I'm going to talk to you about a painting that recently came back into my life. I know that sounds kind of weird, but I was sorting through some of this stuff in my hallway and I came across it again. And it reminded me kind of, well, of a lot of things. I'll get to that when I get to the painting because it'll make, I think, a lot of sense once I give a little bit of backstory. Um, so what I kind of want to talk about is how, like, the power of the subconscious letting go and just, like, it, and the concept of, like, accidental through the subconscious and all this other stuff. Um, because the piece that I created I completely had not expected to do, um, but it ties together a lot of different concepts that I've been running through my head. Um, and that's the whole cool thing about art is that the more you let it, like you go with it, the more you begin to see patterns and patterns begin to emerge and you begin to go through these really interesting uh, ebbs and flows of different things and different, uh, yeah. Anyways, that, that goes into a whole different topic. But what I wanted to talk about, again, like I said, was the uh, how things can tie together subconsciously to come out unexpectedly in ways that are very powerful, at least to me. Because um, that was one other thing that I'm getting very comfortable with is the concept that a lot of the art that an artist creates is completely meaningless and devoid of value outside of the context of the artist's life. Um, like, it's art for art's sake, I guess I would call it. Cause like, would anybody buy the painting I'm about to show you just because? I, I really don't think so. It's not like a, a visual masterpiece of any kind, I don't think. But what it is, is contextually very, 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 very important to my journey as an artist. So, um, let me actually show you what the painting is. Uh, so, oh, here we go. All right, so here the painting is. Probably the most, not the most glamorous of settings. It's just like on my front porch and stuff like that, kind of sitting there. But what the thing of it is, if you look at it, it seems pretty simple. It's like a big black, like 24 by 36. It's kind of plain. But when I said before, like how art can sometimes come together in very unexpected and powerful ways, is for me, um, I had wanted to spend for a long time, just because of the like personal emotions that I'm going through, just painting basically black onto a, uh, onto a canvas. And I talked about this in several like written posts that I did, and um, but I, I just didn't feel I could figure out how to make it visually interesting. Um, and just before this piece, I had started to move into like paper mache and 3D sculptures and stuff like that. So I was trying, trying and trying and figuring out how to make just that black that I wanted to get out from inside out. And so um, I painted this, and this was actually going to be the base layer for a different painting because there's like three different paintings underneath it. And if you look really closely, you can see it's like kind of heavier. And if I tap it you'd be able to hear. It's a definitely, definitely a heavy coat of paint on it. But, anyways, so I, this was supposed to be the base layer for a different painting that I had in mind. I wanted to get a certain energy out. But, you know, I had it sitting out like right here, because once again we're in my yard, right here drying, because like I said it was going to be the base layer for something else. And I went out one time to check it, and as I was checking it, something caught my eye. Now, this is something to me that struck huge. This, I know it's really hard to see, like exposure's really bad, let's see if I can, you know, there it is. That, I know is super hard, like I said, it's super hard to see, is a yellow fleck. Now, you've got this giant black painting with this little yellow flake in the side it's like middle of it that was completely by accident bubble of air I don't know what but the paint didn't get to it so for me I was like something like it was a baseball bat to the face almost yeah it looks like oh wait get that back in focus yeah like a baseball bat to the face um, all right let me do this uh, face to face again and give a better explanation because it's like from what you see it's like yes it's a big black painting with so much texture to it one yellow where's that yellow dot <laughs> wait i saw it a second ago anyways so you get this black painting so let me do this face to face and give you a better explanation of it all right so there we go there i was um looking at this painting that was drying on the front yard and all of a sudden i saw this yellow flake and i was like what the hell is this and it was a complete fluke because like it was a heavy coating of black that i'd put over it as the base coat but there was this yellow flake and all of a sudden it hit me 
It's like I've wanted to paint that black, just straight up black on a canvas. Just because of like a lot of the deep feelings that I'm going through. Yeah, a lot of blog posts about that. Um, but in the midst of all of that darkness, all that black that I was feeling like wanting to get out, there was this yellow, yellow fleck. And to me, it, it just suddenly represented like the hope. Um, like that light at the end of the tunnel almost, that you finally are able to see something. Uh, because my whole journey up to this point has been a very crazy tale. Once again, <laughs> lots of blog posts to go into that. Um, but it was so cool to see my subconscious and almost like that accident of nature come together to create something powerful. And it's just like, it doesn't really mean much to anybody. Like if you just saw that canvas, it's like, oh, what the hell? Somebody just painted it black and tried to make it blah, 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 blah. And, but it's like within the context of my life and the, the coincidence of it and the creation of it and like the culmination subconsciously of, you know, this idea of just darkness, but in that there's like light and hope. It's, it was just a really weird moment. Um, and so that was like kind of one of the bits of the background of that piece. Uh, and now that one is going to be hanging uh, in front of my bed or at the head of my bed along with a different one that maybe I'll talk about pretty soon, but I still don't have the words to describe it because every time I look at it, it, it does something to me and I don't know why. Um, but again, that's a cool part about art. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little episode about that piece of mine. Um, get to see a little bit more about like kind of what goes through my mind as I do this because trust me, it's, it's just as crazy for me as like when people hear the story, it's like, what? Like, it's just as crazy for me. So it's fun to be able to share this in different ways. So I hope uh, people watch this and get to see this. And either way, it's archived for the internet somewhere. So, all right, so this is Wessel from Los Angeles signing off. I hope you all have a great day.